Hello and welcome back to this step-by-step -step HTML tutorial for beginner series and in this video we are going to learn about HTML text formatting elements. So in our previous video we have written this code we have learned how to use style attribute to design our website. So now let me open this website in a new browser and just take a look how our website is currently looking like. We have worked on the background, we have changed the complete background color and then we have changed a specific elements background color. We have changed the text color from black to white. We have increased the size of H2 element. We have increased the size of this paragraph element as well. And we have also centerized this text from left side to right side. If you want to learn from the scratch, I have got this playlist. I'm going to attach the link into the video description for you to start from there. So let me just omit it out. And now let me take you to the coding to delete this thing. Uh, I'm actually going to delete full body section from here. And then I'm going to take body again so that we'll have a fresh body element. As you can see, body started here, body ended here. And we are going to explain every single tags which are available here. As you can see, V for bold text, strong for bold text as well, which means important. Okay. So these B and strong works just exactly, but it means differently. Bold text is a normal bold text, but strong text defines that this is an important text. And here we have got italic. You know what is italic if you have ever used Microsoft Word. And then italic is defining italic text and em, which is emphasized, also defines an italic text, but it contains an important text as strong did. And then we have got small tag, we have got subscript, we have got sub superscript, then inserted, deleted, and marked. And we, we are going to learn the use of every single tag in this video. So first of all, let me take you to the codings here and then we are going to take a normal paragraph. So we are going to take paragraph here and I'm going to this is normal text and then I'm going to save this file and from now on I'm going to use my keyboard to save this file which I am going to use control plus s to save so that it will be much faster for us. So now if I just go back to our website here and reload this page, just take a look, we have got this normal text here. Okay, so now let me explain these HTML formattings. So first thing we have here, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Okay, so first formatting we have got here is bold. So let's go for it. I'm going to give a space here and I'm going to put this angle bracket and then B, B, and then I'm going to close the B tag, which is bold tag, okay? So we have started bold tag here, closed here, and now I'm going to write something in between the tags. So this is a bold text, and now if I just save this document, and if I open this website here, just take a look, the difference. So this, is, this was the normal text, this was bold text, and I'm going to make it smaller as well, so that we'll be able to access the file easily. And then we have got strong tag, strong. And I'm going to select as it is appearing here. So you will find this starting tag and the ending tag. And then I'm going to put something here. This is a strong text. Now, if I just save by hitting control plus S and I'm going to open this, so reload this page, just take a look. Oh, okay, so we have to give some breaks here. All right, so always give breaks to keep them in separate lines. And now if I just reload this page, just take a look, they're doing same things here. But in the background, they are giving the website algorithm that this is a normal bold text, but this strong text, which also defines the bold text, but they are coming along with some important messages. Okay, then let's move on. We are going to learn how to use italic and emphasize text. So let's go for italic, I, and then close I tag. And we're going to type out something. This is italic text. Let's save this one. And if I just reload this page here, this is going to be, this is italic. Okay, as you can see here. So now let me give a break and we are going to type out emphasize again. And for emphasized, we have got the code, which is EM. I'm going to attach every single 
elements in the video description field below so that you'll be able to easily get access to them so now i'm going to give em which is stand for emphasized so now i'm going to close it all right and now if i just write something this is impa sized text and if i just save this file and let's reload this page just take a look they are doing the exact same thing but in the background this one is giving a message to our algorithm that this is containing something important and this is containing the normal italic text so that's the difference of the strong tag and the bold tag and italic tag and the emphasized tags so now let's go for the next element which we have got here which is small it is going to make some text small so we are going to take something like paragraph and this is an example of small text and let's close this with paragraph ending and after that we have to use this tag like i want this small text as a uh, actually this small text as a small text then there is uh, elements okay so let's give the tag here small and then we have to close this tag small okay so now if i just save this file then our small t small text will be a little bit smaller than the usual text here okay so let me save and reload this page here just take a look this is an example of small text these are in a separate size or different size but small is a little bit smaller than the other uh, text here so this is how you have to use small element and then we have got subscript which is going to take our small text let's say sorry the subscript text a little bit down so let's go for it we are going to take let's say again paragraph and we're going to type this is a s u b s c r i p t text and now we have to give the tag here s u b and then i'm going to close subscript here now if i just save this document and go to the browser reload this page just take a look this is a subscript text all right so we usually use these things to write some kinds of let's say rules for example let's say we want to give the rule for uh, h2o which is the water so let's type out here let me give some spaces and i'm going to type h2o so is it in the correct form of the rule or actually the format of h2o no so we have to work on this and to make it just like let me just save and let me show you how it is looking like here h2o but if i just give subscript here suv and then if i give subscript closing here suv now if i just save and reload this page we are going to get the correct form of h2o so this is how we use these things so now let's just delete this one now it's time to go for the superscript which is sup define the superscripted text which is going to take our text a little bit higher so let's go for it we are going to take paragraph tag again and we are going to type out something here this is a super script text and now let's make this text as a superscript text okay so let's give sup and close it here sup and let's save this file now if i just reload this page we are going to see that this one was subscript text which is uh, taking us a little bit down but this one is superscript which is taking us a little bit higher all right so this is how these things works these are also used to write rules for various things okay so now we are going to go for the next one which is inserted so let's say i have got this paragraph here this is going to be our inserted text okay so now i want to give this element here for example we use this thing let's say we have written a long a story or long paragraph or article regarding a subject and then we have made some adjustment or there's some new updates come up so we have to make some adjustment and in this case we use these things inserted text and now let me give 
uh, show you how it is going to work I'm going to give the tag here INS and then we have to insert a text okay so let's keep it here and we have to give the closing tag here and now if I just save this document and then reload this page just take a look this text was inserted later okay so it, it has got a underline with a special text format okay so this is how it works now let's move on to deleted text so let's say you have written an article for something but now you want to make some update and there was some let's say outdated information you want to remove them so you don't want to delete them permanently you can just simply keep on your website so there will be striked actually so that people should be able to learn know that this web this text has been updated deleted from this information and we have got some updated information later all right so let's just go for it we are going to type out something this is sorry paragraph and we're going to write this is going to be our deleted text and then we are going to close paragraph and now let's say we are going to put deleted here so del del and then let's just close deleted okay so now let's save this document and reload this page you are going to see here so we have going to this is going to be our deleted text this is deleted text okay so this is how it works now let's move on to the next and our last formatting element here which is mark let's take paragraph here and then this is going to be our marked text and now I'm going to mark this by giving this element or tag so mark starting tag and then close this mark tag now let's save this file and reload this page here just take a look we have got a mark text so these were our HTML formatting elements and we have learned how they work on our web page and many of these elements are going to be used several times or actually often time in our website building journey so i believe you have found some value from this video and if you did please give this video a like share this video to help your friends and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and we are going to learn more interesting things in our coming videos stay connected stay active and start practicing thank you very much for watching